sit down right there, dude. Good yeah. boy. Good. You can have a cameo in this if you're well behaved, okay? Good boy. We are probably six months late to this trend. Um, I guess we were. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Ben. I don't know what we're gonna be able to have. Bye. I said if you were good, you could be down here for this, but you're not gonna be very good right now. And we're back. We we're gonna let our little pups cameo, but uh, that got, wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, they got way too raw, though. <laughs> so I guess this is some trend, as Carolyn has told me, that uh, it was a big thing like six months ago. We weren't doing YouTube videos six months ago because of life and burnout and because we didn't really care at that point. But we're back at it and we're scraping the bottom of the barrel because we had too much else to do this week. Anyway, our friends Jess and Gabriel did something like this. I think they did a couple of videos like this along with probably every other couple YouTuber on the planet. Yeah, we're super original is what Carol Yeah, said. we decided to top up trend. Mm -hmm. I liked how Jess and Gabe did it where they went from like easy to hard. So we'll get like a little teeny bit juicy and then like super duper juicy. <laughs> you ready to go first? Mm-hmm. Thank you for the bowl. Let's start with a good one. This is supposed to be easy, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Well, it's not. <laughs> Flirting is cheating. On the count of three, we'll move our mugs to what we think mm. it is. One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you weren't <laughs> sure about that. I like, I kind of agree and kind of disagree. Yeah, that's why I didn't go strongly agree. Obviously, it's not like physically cheating. That's not what I'm saying. The card just said flirting is cheating. I mean, I guess what's your goal by flirting with someone, ultimately? I feel like sometimes in people's personalities, though, like they're naturally flirts without making it like super sexual. Maybe I agree. I don't really know where that line is, though. I mean, if you're consistently flirting with other people, that aren't your person, that's probably not gonna be a recipe for success in a relationship. Yeah. You know? And it's kinda like playing with fire. You know, the closer you get to something, the closer you are to actually having it be something bad. So I would say agree. Yeah, I agree now. I changed my yeah. answer. There's a difference between flirting and having a bubbly personality. That's I think that's probably what you were I think that's at. probably why I'm misconstruing it. But I, when I think of flirting, I mean I think of like actual flirting, not like just having a bubbly personality, flirting but like actually has flirting. With an intention to Correct. Do yeah. Okay, that's so right. So that was not easy to start. <laughs> was it? Carolyn spends more money. Three, two, one. Strongly agree. Strongly agree. Why? Because there's Amazon packages that appear at my house seven days a week. I I, I agree, or strongly <laughs> agree rather, that I do spend more money, but I spend money on the stuff that we need, and it's mm -hmm. always for like the family. Mm -hmm. Like for example, we just got new iPhones, and mm -hmm. I had to buy us both cases. Mm -hmm. Jeremy didn't go and buy the cases because he wouldn't have done that. It's kind of like, you know, Carolyn has girl math, you know, spend it on this. It's basically like you're making money. You know, the sale was 50% off, so they're practically giving it away. That's, ah, I get it. That's sometimes true. It's sometimes true. <laughs> Next up, Jeremy has better style. Three, Three two, two, one. Disagree. You disagree, yeah. I don't think I have better style. I, I, well, clearly I agree with your disagreement. I don't think I have, like, horrible style. I just don't think I have better style. You always look nice, mm -hmm. and I think you always look way more put together than I do. I make an effort to look decent and presentable. Doesn't mean I have, like, amazing style, though. I feel like the super trendy stuff isn't really your go-to, especially your body type. Super trendy? Are you talking about hoodies, earrings? Ripped up jeans. I'm talking like Yeezys. big baggy pants. You're oh, not like that yeah. is a big trend for guys. I just described all the guys that live in LA. Um, <laughs> yeah, the big baggy trends where it looks like you have a parka that's about 17 sizes too big for you. Not my thing. I, I like baggy pants, but I'm also like 5'10, so I feel like I can kind of pull off baggy pants. Not a big fan of wearing a ski jacket when it's 110 degrees outside. I don't know if that's a fashion statement as much as just being stupid. I know a lot of people feel very called out right now. Well, you should. <laughs> Next up, we got married too young. Three, two, one. Strongly disagree. Good job, baby. I'm glad we're on the same page. Thank you. We got married uh, young, but you know, it was a little bit less than two years dating, and then it was another, you know, seven months of being engaged. So. And the long engagement blow. I wouldn't recommend seven months. Yeah, I don't think a long engagement is the most fun. It's just ultimately what happens at times when you're trying to get a specific location and stuff. So it's not, it's not optimal though. I feel like engagements should be short, even though culturally they become very, very long. How old were you again? Was I 23? You had really? just turned 23. I just turned 23 and you were 22. Was I? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I was 22. Wow, that's young. Yeah, 100%. 23 and 22. It's one of those things where people always ask about this and you kind of go like, I don't think it's the age itself that is a problem or not a problem. I think it's the people. You know, mm -hmm. I think some people 
are way too immature at that age to get married. And I think some people are very capable of getting married at that age. And I think stages of life too. I mean, you'd been working since you were like in your mother's womb. And yeah. I had left to go do ballet and stuff. So I feel like where we were mentally, physically, emotionally is a lot different than I think most normal 22 and 23 year olds. I come across as a goofy person on all the social medias, but in real life, I'm pretty mature and frugal and have been working for a very long time. So it's also, you know, I wasn't really dating around just to date and just have a casual fling. I mm -hmm. was specifically dating and pursuing a relationship because I wanted to get married. So I think it's a little bit different when that's the case. So yeah, strongly disagree. Did not get married too young. Everybody who waits till way later in life, uh, I think you're missing out because you can enjoy being young together and it's kind of the best. Yeah, I agree. And on that note, we are now moving into the- The media. meds. The meds. All the meds. Your partner should have the passwords to each other's phones and social medias. Three, two, one. Agree. Not strongly agree. Oh, I only wanted to put agree, not strongly agree, because you know, just in case they're a psychopath and want to like hack your account or something, you know, just a, just a little wiggle room in there. You know, if they post like very embarrassing photos of you that you've told them not to post, and they do. It's only why I'm not strongly agree. I'm just Are just you, is agree. that a, like specific circumstance between us that you're talking about? Possibly, now? yeah. It's made it's made me happen once or twice. Carolyn has the access to all of my things. <laughs> Jerry is not the best on social media, so he needs help from his wife. <laughs> I've, I've been doing better recently, no, but can, we, we, we share the same passwords for everything. A, it's like good for emergency situations so mm -hmm. that they have access to everything when you actually need it, but B, like, if you have nothing to hide, you really have nothing to fear. Yeah, and I think even on the trust element, it's like, sure, I'm not gonna be snooping around your phone 24 seven, maybe yeah. like one of the sevens in yeah. the next 24. <laughs> exactly. Like, one 24-hour period out of the week. Exactly right. I think it's important. I mean, I feel like you should be able to share everything and be an open book for your person. Also, for our workflow, it would not work if that wasn't the case because we're constantly sending things back and forth and there's files and all of our different devices for music releases and everything else. So it's just kind of untenable for us to not have access to each other's yeah, accounts. Yeah, it would be a train wreck. Carolyn starts more arguments. Mm, Ready? Three? Wait. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Three, Three, two, two one. one. I agree with that. I don't strongly agree with that because I mean we both definitely do. It's not. I feel like it's not two to tango. I get more irritable than you do. You definitely are the peacemaker in the family. Mm-hmm. And little things sometimes make me aggravated. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that you are nitpicky? <laughs> Something he hates about me. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. <laughs> we both start arguing. Mine are just about stupid things most times. Yes. <laughs> Marriage is hard. Three, two, one. What'd you put? You put disagree? No, no, no. I know, but I was even airing on a little bit like more strongly disagree. I'm like yeah. closer to the disagree. Dummy start then. Sure, go for it. I feel like marriage is not, well, our marriage is not difficult. I feel like the circumstances around our life at times is what makes life hard, but mm -hmm. it doesn't make this hard. Like, of course it puts strain on it, but I always love you regardless of what we're feeling, how we're doing. There's always a comfort in our marriage, I guess. I was only going to say marriage is hard in the context of it is just a hard thing because any relationship with somebody who you spend like 24-7 around is going to have its ups and downs no matter who you are. For me, as a guy, you kind of you know come into marriage and the goal is to provide, protect, and to lead no matter who you are. That's going to be difficult at times and you're going to mess up, you're going to make mistakes, and you're kind of, you know, still figuring it out as it's happening. Uh, I wouldn't say our marriage specifically is hard. I just think marriage itself is hard, and most things that are worth doing usually are. If marriage was super duper easy, uh, I think you'd see a lot more successful marriages. <laughs> the divorce rate would probably be way lower. Yeah, the divorce rate is very high for a, for a reason. It's because it, it isn't an easy thing, but it doesn't mean it's not worth not worth doing. Sure, yeah. sure. Most of the greatest things in your life are going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, and I think too, like, not having kids yet, or, you know, once we eventually do have children, like, that definitely escalates so much of potential relational tension and stuff, so... Even two puppies does at times. So now we are graduating into the hard category. Hard! Wow! I get the f most fun one to say right off the bat. Oh no. Have I considered divorce? Three, two, one. Yes, okay. I'll, I'll start. I'll, I'll start. Considered though? I'll start. No. <laughs> 
This comes into your worldview. Uh, ultimately, we're Christians and we're very strong in our beliefs and I've always been raised, and at this point I believe, that there really isn't an option for divorce, so choose wisely. I think a lot of people just get married very willy-nilly because they feel like it and they're, you know, taken up by a whirlwind romance and they don't really think about who that person is going to be long term and how it's actually going to work the rest of their life. So for me, no, uh, haven't considered it because I would have considered it prior to getting married in terms of like, is this someone I want to be with? And right. I said yes. The reason I put disagree is, I don't know if we were thinking about the word considered where like you get really mad and like kind of pops to your head, but in the sense of like, of course, we're never going to have a divorce because that's the worldview we hold along with something When that. I think of considered, I think of like, oh, I'm like really considering this as an option right oh, now. Oh no, it's that's not absolutely like, not. Again, it's, it's a wording thing. Like, have you thought about divorce as an idea and a concept? Of course, who hasn't? In terms of like considering <laughs> actually getting one. No, 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 absolutely not. No. I can't really imagine life without you, so. Me too. Carolyn kind of runs all of my accounts for things, so I would just... I wouldn't know what to do. Are you saying you need me? I'm saying I need you. Oh, wow. Very much. Next question. Last question, actually. We look happier on social media than we are. Three, two, one. I'm kind of in the middle on this one. I put technically agree because pretty much everyone looks happier on social media than they actually are, uh, unless you're one of those people that just literally airs all of their dirty laundry online for everyone to see all the time. I think everyone's just at least within the little squares of Instagram and TikTok. Like people are wanting to show you the highlights of their life. Correct. Not to say that those highlights are not actual happy moments that do happen. Personally, I don't think social media is designed or is supposed to be a beat for beat of what your life actually is. Mm -hmm. you know? There's the mundane everyday things that usually you aren't putting on social media because you're just working and getting things done. I guess in our specific circumstance though, you agree in what way? I don't put, like, us having a fight on social media, you yeah. know? I don't put just the days when it's just kind of simple and there's not a lot going on on social media. Everyone has those days. <laughs> <laughs> that was a hit of most Everybody has those, those days. days. Everybody, Everybody knows what we're talking talk about. about. Everybody, Everybody gets that way. way. Yeah. And uh, with that, I kind of think that's the perfect outcome for this video. Social media kids, it's never exactly what real life looks like. Our goal is to have it be as genuine and close to what we do as possible. We don't try to just manufacture things. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, it's, it's always going to look nicer and prettier and brighter than what actually happens in real life because it's not real life. Take that into account when you're looking at everybody online because the rise of a lot of mental health issues and depression and anxiety and other things it's pretty concurrent with the rise of social media, so yeah. turn your phone off at times, which I know is ironic saying this as we're uh, doing this in a YouTube video. A lot of times I sit on the couch and work for eight hours a day, <laughs> and Jerry works in our little office upstairs, and that is the duration of our day. And then I'll come down and give you a nice movie. That's so true. And they're always like, man, I miss you, even though we've technically been in the same house all day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This was kind of fun. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>